Green Man Gaming is the first choice for millions of passionate gamers from around the world. They work with over 450 publishers, developers and distributors to offer customers a wide range of games at competitive prices. If this sounds like it's for you, use our link in the description. Hi, this is Robert from Studio 35, here to share this week's gaming news with you. Starting off with Apple, Apple is stepping up its gaming chops with improvements to gaming support in iOS 14, iPad OS 14 and tvOS. Controller button remapping, rumble, motion and haptics are being introduced with even the ability to use a keyboard and mouse on the iPad. These long requested features will be coming later this year along with support for PlayStation's DualShock 4 controller. This is also including its light bar features such as color changing depending on a player's health. The touchpad is also being utilized with two finger tracking as well as support for the touchpad's buttons. Moving on to some sad news. We're sad to announce that Microsoft is shutting down Mixer, its streaming service and direct competitor to the likes of Twitch and YouTube Gaming. Mixer streamers and Xbox owners will be migrated over to Facebook Gaming instead, with streamers being given the option to be included with the move or return to Twitch. July 22nd will mark the day that Mixer sites and apps will implement the redirect, with the decision happening just months after Microsoft announced a do-or-die purchase for the platform of some of Twitch's biggest streamers, Ninja and Shroud. Unfortunately, despite this, Mixer never really took off, even during the COVID-19 lockdown, with growth being reported as an embarrassing 0.2%. As we know, Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics have been working on an Avengers game for years now, but its E3 2019 reveal didn't really wow audiences. Admittedly, PlayStation 4's Spider-Man was a tough act to follow, however, following Wednesday's War Table presentation, Crystal Dynamics have cut through the mist of confusion of what this game really is. They showed off previously unseen parts of the game, including the revelation that the main antagonist was none other than Modok, a character familiar to comic book lovers but not yet seen so far in the MCU. Other highlights included co-op Warzone missions, offering players the ability to assemble their own team of Avengers with your friends or the AI, allowing you to combine powers to pull off team finishing moves. We were offered an in-depth look at customization and progression options too where players can mix up their own selection of various attacks to create an Avenger suitable for their playing style. On Thursday, CG Project Red debuted two new gameplay trailers for Cyberpunk 2077. The twice-delayed game's first trailer, called The Gig, shows parts of the game's prologue, which sees main character V caught up in a heist for a biochip, an event which jump-starts off the rest of the game. The first trailer also showed off new aspects of the game, including the Badlands region and massive cyborg character Adam Smasher, a character well known to fans of the original pen and paper RPG. And finally, a story we've only just been made aware of today. A group of publishers are suing the Internet Archive. While this came to light on June 1st, publishers are stating that the non-profit group's collection of free e-copies of books is robbing authors and themselves of revenue at a time when they claim it is most needed. For those who do not know who the Internet Archive are or what they did, the Internet Archive has made more than 1.3 million books available for free online which was scanned and made available for a single person for a period of two weeks. However, March this year came round and the group said it would lift all restrictions on its operations until the end of the lockdown period and created what they call a National Emergency Library to serve the nation's displaced learners. Publishers, of course, who did not financially benefit from this have a different word for it, theft. The case is ongoing. So, these are the major events this week in the world of gaming. What were your highlights? As usual, if you like what you're watching, I urge you to like this video as it makes our content more visible. If you'd like, subscribe to catch our future content and please share this video across all your favorite social media platforms to support our growth. This is Robert Yap from Studio 35, wishing you all a happy weekend.